communism in which the government works with the unions to try to circumvent the law of contract, which is, by the way, circumventing the Constitution, and try to control the country by sheer force of numbers and force of fear. And it's a very, very dangerous situation. It is a dangerous Heroism. situation. You, you, I mean, uh, uh, Dagan, you know, the, uh, Ben talks about the numbers, but also the fear aspect of it. Uh, remember recently at SEIU, there was a, some sort of beatdown of a guy w there at one of these meetings, and the intimidation tactics, whether economic, there, in fact, we have it right there, whether economic or physical, seem to be becoming more intense every single week. Right, because the, the unions are getting their mojo back, so to speak, because they have the right people in the White House who are in their favor. Their ranks are growing in the public sector. There are more public sector union workers than there are in the private sector nowadays. But kudos to J.P. Morgan Chase if that, if that bank stands up to this extortion tactic. That's what it is. And the irony is the Michigan economy would not be in the shape that it's in if the unions had in large part put right. put the auto business on the rocks into bankruptcy because of these high pay and benefit packages so let the unions pay the mortgages if they're worried about the people of Michigan and you know Tom here's the interesting thing is Wall Street gets all of the blame and right. and the banks get all of the blame but here we have the union saying we want you to do the same reckless thing that the president keeps saying you did was reckless but don't be reckless <laughs> The hypocrisy. How do you feel on Wall Street about this sort of hypocrisy? Well, first of all, I mean, Dagan brings up some very good points. I mean, let's call it how it is. The UAW is in no position to point fingers. Let's just call it how it is. The problem with freezing mortgages is you're going to freeze credit. If those banks are forced to subsidize, how are they going to lend as much money to small businesses, which ultimately leads to economic recovery? I mean, right now, the, the White House has failed the people, and right now they want the UAW to pull something like this. I mean, it, it's just not going to work, and people are going to be irate about it. Adam, I mean, just from a purely business point of view, these loans are bad. Uh, people are being foreclosed all over the country. Is it even smart for the UAW to want this to happen? Well, uh, given how we've gone, how this conversation has gone so far, Charles, I'm surprised you want to have a business conversation. I'm certainly not going to get into demonizing unions, which I think is irresponsible, or demonizing banks, which doesn't make any more sense. Cause Charles, money talks. The unions are in control of some hundreds of millions of dollars of, of deposits in this case. It, uh, what, I can't remember if it was Tom or Ben or Dagan who called it extortion. That's a silly word to use in a why, business why negotiation. Why is that a silly word? I'm, I'm not, not finished. I'm not finished. Well, extortion goes on every single day on Wall Street, if you want to use that word. I've got the money. If you want it, do what I want you to do. There's nothing more than that going on here. Well, let me ask yes, you. Yes, there is. No. Yes, way more well, than that. Go. Way more than that. Uh, You're Adam. comparing Obama to Juan Perón, Ben? Go because, ahead. How is because it way they have more the than that? Yes, because they have the government on their side. It would be different. A hedge fund trying to get money out of somebody else with hedge fund money and hedge fund tactics, that's one thing. Hedge, Using the power of the government. Hedge funds have the government on we their side UAW with all of the donations mixed. that they make. I have the oh, government no. on my side because I've got a congresswoman. I mean, come on. Well, how about this? No, no, no. Tom, Tom, Congresswoman Tom. is not the same as the president. Congresswoman Tom. is not the same as the president. But, Tom, how about the well, idea the that we're my saying that the unions, is, the, uh, the argument that unions have the White House on their side, it might be vice versa. Maybe this is the unions are doing the bidding for the White House themselves, which lends uh, a lot of credibility to what Ben was saying. What do you think about that, Tom? Listen, it's time for these unions to own up to the role of causing the collapse of the American auto industry, you know, facing, you know, foreign competition. I mean, let's never do that. Is. You know, of course they're not going to do that, right? Because, I mean, they... It's, oh, yeah, they, sing, Tom, they single-handedly brought down the auto companies. Is that what you're saying? I mean, Charles, maybe Martians are going to land on uh, in Detroit next week, but I don't think so. Oh, the, the they ignore the pay and benefit that packages that the unions anything. extracted from Adam, the automakers not has anything. nothing to do with the financial straits and ultimate bankruptcy that both Chrysler and GM wound up? What planet are you living on? Planet, uh, <laughs> planet Lashinsky? Not, not Mars, Dagan. Look, the, 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 did, did J.P. Morgan make go, or Chase make good loans here? No, they made bad loans here. They want to foreclose on them. That would be the best thing for them, obviously. Maybe it would be the best thing for the people who are in them to move on with their lives. That's a philosophical thing. But if somebody can figure out a way for them to stay in their homes, I just want to point out, we've been doing this for two years now in, in all sorts of instances, 
all around the country, various interest groups trying to persuade the, the banks to delay foreclosure. We this have to give money to small businesses. You cannot, right UAW, you cannot freeze credit right now. We cannot freeze credit. The UAW is essentially part of the government at this point. The UAW is essentially part of the government and works together to have enormous control over anything hey, they touch. But, Tom, here's the, here's the thing, okay? We're talking from an economic point of view. Adam already admits that this is not a bright thing to do. And yet, uh, even the, all the efforts so far have been mostly friendly gestures, if you will. But the strong arming aspect of this, doesn't it just actually backfire? Won't Wall Street and the banks actually retrench even further with this sort of tactics? Absolutely. I mean, this is not the time to go back to freezing mortgages. I mean, you cannot do that. I mean, we have to right now, the main objective is to give credit to small businesses. That's, that's what we have to do right now, because that's going to create jobs and rebuild America. I mean, we can't go back to the old ways. It's I, not going to work. In terms of another irony, another union irony, it was a group of unions that was campaigning not long ago uh, in Michigan, a better Michigan future, advocating hundreds of millions of dollars in tax increases in the state. So in tax increase. increase. They want higher taxes to fund what they right. deem is suitable spending. So that would be really great for the Michigan economy. Uh, of course, the legislator voted it down. All I can tell you is I bet someone wakes up with a horse's head next to him. But it won't be you, Adam. <laughs> it won't be you. All right. The, the